Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy ornament. It's going to be one of probably several that I'm going to do, just different designs. Um, this one is rather plain, kind of like the big glass bulbs that you can get um, for Christmas. We had a lot when I was a kid and then they all kind of disappeared because we break them. Um, it's got a nice big top so you can actually get it onto a real tree. You could add wrapped bands to this to make it a little fancier. Use um, the tie-dyed bands or the multicolor bands to give it a little pop of whatever you want. These are metallic bands um, that I picked up at Michael's a long time ago um, that I had to separate out. Not fun. Um, Band-wise, the top hanger portion is 52 and then the bulb itself is 246. And then you have the eyes, the cheeks, and the mouth. But we'll get started on making them. It's pretty simple, I think, um, compared to some of the things that I've made, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to use the 9mm pony beads, but you can use wrapped bands for the eyes. It's two bands, whatever color you want the eye to be. You put them on the hook, wrap them around, and then grab all the bands, wrap them around again. Let's try that again. All the bands. And then wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your bulb. And just pull it into the center. So that would be a wrapped band, eye band, if you don't have the pony beads. Just like that. So you want two of those, and I'll put the bands through these when we get there, because they're pretty easy to slide through. And then I have the cheeks, which are just one band, whatever color you want them to be. Well, hello kitty. And then put on your hook, wrap it around, then grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your bulb. Well, I guess somebody wants to play. Not a good, <laughs> Not a good place right now, kitty. She's a stinker sometimes. So you want two cheeks. And then, for our hanger here, we'll start with making the top portion. All it is is taking one band, whatever color you want that to be, put on the hook, double it, grab it again, double it, and then you want to pull through 13 more doubled bands. So it's just take another band, double it on your hook, and then pull it through. And then back on. So that's one. And you can make it a little smaller too if you want to. I just made it bigger so that I could get it actually onto a tree. But you could use an actual metal hook to do it too. So that's one, so I need to pull through 12 more for 13 total through my cat band. Kitty is very rambunctious, as you can tell. Definitely think it might have been a boo-boo on my part to let her sit up on my desk while I was making things, because now she thinks she could be up here all the time. She likes to run away with my creations. I had a couple of bulbs that I made that were fails in my opinion, so I set them off to the side and then I look over and there she is with one in her mouth trying to walk off with it and I'm like, hey, you can't play with that. Not a good idea. She grabs anything. Alright. Maybe there. So that is my cat band with 13 more pulled through. So you can just leave that on your hook. And then you want to take your loom and working in the center area here, so right around the seventh pin up in the center, you want to make a starburst with your top hanger color. We work from the top down. Everything's double banded. So you're just going to take it and do two bands going out from the center pin to the six pins around the outside. that. And then on the center pin here you're going to take two bands and wrap them around three times. So one, 
two, and three. And then you go in through your cap band you just put on, grab the top two bands, wherever they are, pull them up through the cap band and back towards the outside. And you'll do that all the way around. It feels really weird to make Christmas stuff already. I still have some Thanksgiving stuff to do and honestly still some Halloween stuff that I never got out, but um, it is what it is. So you push that down. Now you have this still on your hook. If you go on to the center area here, I'm going to grab all four bands on one side, pull them up, off the pin, slide down that top hanger portion, and then put the bands back on to the pin. And then you can kind of see how this, the way it goes on here, the cap band, if you put your hook in, I kind of hold it up straight, and then I put my hook in away from me, and then come towards me, because that way when I come back towards the other side to grab these bands on the far side, pull them up, and pull them through, back on. This stays fairly straight so it doesn't get all twisted. So just hold it up straight, put the hook in to the cap band from away from you, bring it towards you, and then you can hook it onto the other side, like that. And I'll push everything down, and we'll do two rows all the way around, still double banded. I know I went shopping like the day after Halloween and they were already bringing out all the Christmas stuff. I was like, what? It's crazy. It's too early. So like that, row all the way around. Then you'll flip the bottom four bands up over the top of the pin. They should have four bands left on the pin, each pin. Push everything down again. And we'll do one more row all the way around. Yikes. I left my band box open. She was digging on the lid. Knock the whole thing over and that'd be good, so close that up real quick. She really is such a stinker. So like that, flip the bottom four again. Push everything down. And now you want your color that you're going to use for the bulb portion. going to use this kind of metallic glittery red color and what we want to do is puff all of the pins that we have here with two bands that are your bulb color and what I mean by that is taking your hook going down through all four bands that are on the pin hooking two bands of your bulb color pulling them up through and then putting both ends on your hook then you'll take the bands off the pin and then put your bulb color bands back onto the pin itself. So now we've just changed color or puffed it up so we to a different color. And we'll do that with all of the pins. For the center ones, they're a little hard for me to get in there with my fingers, so I just drop the bands on a pin over to the side, go through, pull those bands up and back onto the pin and then grab those bands and put them onto the pin where they need to be. Just kind of use that other pin as a placeholder.
same thing with the center pin up here. Just use the pin off to the side for a little help. Like now you can pull up that center cap band so it's kind of on top of the pin. Loosen up that hanger portion. Like that. So now um, we will be doing some increasing and decreasing, so if you're not familiar with how to do that, um, you'll definitely want to lay your bands on here the same way that I do. So we're going to go around one time. Now we're into the bulb color, so I'm going to start down here. I usually start down here in the beginning and go around. Like that. Flip the bottom four bands all the way around. You, you're not being very helpful. Like that. So push everything down. And now we're going to do is increase everything. So starting over here on the right side, if you put your bands on the same way that I did, this top pin right here, I can grab the top two bands and just pull them up a pin. Then come down to this lower pin. For this one, we have to grab all four bands, pick them up, pull them down a pin, and now you'll grab the top two bands and pull them back up to the pin they were on. And over to the other side, this pin up here, we have to take all four bands, pull them up a pin, grab the top two, bring them down, and then on this lower pin, we can just grab the top two bands and pull them down. So we've got the sides all expanded. For the center ones, just grab the top two bands, See which side they're coming from. These are coming from the left, so you just take them to that side. And these will be coming from the right, so they'll come over to the right. Same thing up here. Grab the top two. Mine are coming from the left. So they'll go to the left, and then the other two will go over to the right. And then you want to push everything down. Then we're going to do a row all the way around. Still the double banding. And like I said before, I would lock her out, but then she meows at the door, which is even more annoying. And I can imagine people would tell me that I just mean then. So. so like that, all the way around. Now you want to flip the bottom two bands on all the pins. And it's just two because we did all that expanding. Push everything down. Now we're going to increase again. So this time we're going to increase this pin right here first. And to do that, we're going to move these bands back a pin. So I'm going to pick up these four, pull them back towards me. Pick up these, pull them back towards me. And then the same thing with the ones we're actually going to expand, we have to pick all them up and pull them back a pin. Make sure you get them all back on there before you take your hook out. So once you move those first three back, you can grab the top two bands and pull them back to the empty pin. Like that. Then we want to come up to the... Okay. You have to share. 
come up to this top pin up here. And with this one, okay, kitty kitty. I thought you were going to go sleepy with your yawning, but this pin up here, we'll grab the top two bands and we can just pull them up a pin. Then we'll come over to the other side and we're going to take these three pins and move them back. So I'll grab the bands off that pin, pull them up, grab the next ones, pull those up, and again on the third ones down, we'll pull these up. So once you have those three pulled up, you'll come back to this last one we pulled up, grab the top two bands and bring them down to the empty pin. And then all the way down here to this bottom left, we have to pick up all four bands, bring them down a pin, and then bring the top two back. Like that. So now we've expanded again. And don't worry about it, we don't have to expand anymore. But we have to work with this, so. Now we're going to do a row all the way around, two bands. Kitty fooled me when she came up here just this last time. She started yawning. She's kind of laying nice, and I'm sure you can hear her purring. I thought maybe she'd just kind of take a little nap, but it's too enticing with having all these little rubber bands and creations around for her to play with. She'll be back, I'm sure. All right, row all the way around. Now we're going to flip, and some of them will have four bands, and some will have two bands. It just depends where we expanded. So here's four, four, two, two, four, four, two, and two. I'm going to go to the other side. Be two, two, four, four, two, two, and then four, and four. Like that. So every pin should have four bands on it now. Push all that down. Our next row is going to your eye row. So you want your eyes. And I'll start down here. Still two bands. And we'll go up. And up again. Then our first eye will go here. Now technically I'll say that um, sometimes people tell me that they don't like that I kind of switch the eyes sometimes to being farther apart, closer together. When the design is a round one like this, you could technically place the eyes right next to each other because when it comes off the loom it still will be it'll be round so there's no sides to it some other designs um, specifically there are kind of the face part or something like that where if you put them off to one side then the eyes be kind of goofy but um, when they're round like this you could put the eyes right next to each other just thought I'd point that out because some people have noticed that or wanted them close together. And you never have to use the same size pony beads that I use. Um, a lot of people still like the smaller ones for everything. I just kind of increased them as I increased some of the sizes of my designs. So next spot on our loom will be an eye. And then if you want another eye, you can put it there. Or we'll do a space and then put the other eye. And then it's two bands all the way around the rest.
Christmas is definitely one of my favorite holidays just because family makes a much more of a top priority to get together and I love all the lights and my kids faces when they get their Christmas presents from Santa and everybody else and it's just a fun time so like that we're all the way around now you flip the bottom four I think my favorite thing to still do is to sit underneath the tree or lay underneath the tree rather and just kind of stare up through it and at the lights I think that's probably kind of weird but it's one of my favorite things to do I still have to not fight but fight <laughs> with the hubby every year to keep getting a real Christmas tree because I love just having a real one and he's still he's like yeah real ones just aren't as fun or as easy to take care of as getting a fake tree and I know there's fake trees that look a lot like real trees but I still have to I want a real tree for a while I push everything down next row will be our cheek row two bands and it's basically the same thing as the eye row, it's just that where we put the eyes, we're going to put cheeks now. So there'll be a cheek here. And two bands. And then another cheek. And then two bands around the rest. be nice this year with Christmas though because the kids are a little older so hopefully they'll leave the tree alone a little bit more we can decorate the whole thing there flip the bottom four so when the kids are littler we have to not decorate like the bottom foot and a half two feet of it so otherwise they pull all the ornaments off and pull all the lights off and they're so quick it just like you turn your back for one second and They've dismantled the tree. <laughs> so we just stopped decorating that part. It will be nice to actually decorate the whole thing again. And I'm sure that if they help decorate it, which they will, the bottom two feet of the tree will be the most decorated part anyways. And I'll make my oldest put the star on the top because he's the tallest out of all of us. Like that. Push everything down. Now we want to put on our mouth, and that is one band, whatever color you want the mouth to be. I'm just going to turn my loom here. I'll put the band on my hook, wrap it around one time to double it, and I'll pull it off, hold it doubled. And these, we're going to stretch the band between these two pins here, but we need to be underneath. So I'm going to take my hook, go through the four bands that are to, next to the left eye, hook that band, pull it up through and up over the top of the pin, pull it down, so now it's wrapped around the bottom of the pin, I'm going to go to the other side, put my hook through those four bands, hook the mouth band again, pull it up through, up over the top of the pin, Pull it down, so now I'm wrapped around the bottom two pins, the bottom of the two pins, and then I'll take it and flip it up over the top. So it looks like that. Now we're going to do two rows all the way around with the two bands. we might 
go out of town for a little while tomorrow to get out and just kind of relax. Um, it's been a rough time lately, so might do some Christmas shopping in the Twin Cities or not really sure yet, but just do something, get some Christmassy ideas. The youngest two are easy. So there's our first row all the way around. We'll flip the bottom four. Because they pretty much have told me that they like everything. They keep every commercial that's on TV. They yell at me from the other room. And like if I'm in the kitchen, they'll yell at me and, Mom! Mom! Shopkins! Frozen! I want to play this! Barbie! So I have a pretty good idea what they want, which is everything. And then my older two kids, they're a little bit harder. Because I think it's just kind of a given that as you get older, your tastes get more expensive. So they're like, oh yeah, how about a pair of Beats? Or, you know, a new phone? Or a new tablet? And I'm kind of like, yeah. You know, you have one that works. I know, but it's not cool anymore. I'm positive I was the same way as when I was a kid, but it's always a big shock when you're a parent. <laughs> so we'll do our second row all the way around. And you find yourself as a parent when you have kids going, well, when I was a kid, I didn't have this stuff. And <laughs> when you go, oh my gosh, I'm turning into my mom. It's crazy. It's fun though. So they're a little bit more harder and plus they can't think of anything and then then they end up going, we'll just take gift cards everywhere. I'm like, nope, sorry. You just gotta tell me what you want. Gift ideas, that's kind of half the point of Christmas is kind of fumbling through trying to find a, a good gift for somebody. Although I'm not opposed to gift cards for people who like aunts and uncles or cousins or something that don't provide you with lists either. So like that. That's our second row all the way around. Flip the bottom four. Gift cards are a good way. But then you have to figure out what store to get them from. Like, do they have that store there? Do they even shop at that store? Would they shop at that store? It's crazy. And of course, there's the hubby to find a gift for. I think I said this probably last year, but it's like when you're older, it's not that you don't want things or want presents, or, but it's just that a lot of times you're able to get things yourself throughout the year from your working and um, just living life, so then you don't really like have that buildup of things that you kind of hope you can ask for at Christmas time, because, you know, you're getting it, and... So it's kind of, kind of not the same, so it makes it a little harder to shop for adults versus kids. I mean, Santa can only do so much, so. Alright, so now what we're going to do is reduce. So, you count up, starting over here at the bottom right, we'll go up to the fourth pin, right here. You'll grab the top two bands, and you see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from above. So I'm going to take them below to the opposite pin. And that means that these two are going to go above. So that one's reduced. So you just basically find out what pin the top two bands are coming from and just take them to the opposite pin. So these are coming from the left, so they're going to come over to the right. Then the other two bands, it's just kind of a given, they'll go to the other side. Then we'll come down to the fourth pin on the left side. If you're coming around, we'll grab the top two on this one. They're coming from below, so they're going to go above. And the other two are going to go below. And we're going to reduce one more time. This lower left pin. The top two are coming from the left, so they're going to come over to the right. And the other two will come to the left. 
you want to push those down. Then we'll do a row around. It's two bands. Some of these will kind of have long stretches and then others will be normal just right next to each other. Or like right here in front now there'll be a long stretch. And a couple normal again. We are almost done too, so that's awesome. And another long stretch right here. Like that. And now we'll flip the bands under the top four. So some of them are going to have some reducing bands, and then other ones will just have four. So like this top one, we have two reducing bands, and then there's the bottom four. The next one has four, then we have reducing band, and then the four. Next one has a reducing band, and then the four. And then as you pass these, where they're just kind of wrapped around the outside, you can unhook them and bring them towards the inside. And this is four. And this one has a reducing band, and then the bottom four. And we flip it over. Reducing band up here. And the bottom four. We'll flip that over. And this one has four. This one has a reducing band, plus four. This one has the reducing bands, plus four. Unhook this. And this one has four. And then this last one down here in the corner has a reducing bands, and then the four. So you want to push everything down. And then kind of take your creation. If you haven't already started pulling it up, make sure you pull it up. And now what we want to do is we want to move it closer because we're going to reduce after we do that. And if we reduce now, they're too far away from each other. So we're going to take these three pins up here on the left and just bring them down a pin. And we'll take these three pins here and bring them up a pin. I'm just going to grab the four bands that are on this pin take them off and move them up one. Like that. And the ones on the other side, we'll just bring those down. So once you have them all next to each other, you want to take the ends and tuck them in behind the pins. Make sure everything's pushed down. And now we're going to reduce. So starting down here on this lower corner, we're going to reduce, I call it everything, but um, starting down in this lower corner, I'm going to grab the top two bands. See where they're coming from? Mine are coming from the right side over here, so they're going to go over to the left. Then the other two will go to the right. Then we'll just go up to the next pin that doesn't have any reducing that we've done. Grab top two, coming from above, so they'll go below. Other two will go above. And go up to the next pin. And again, the top two are coming from above, so they'll go below. Other two will go above. And then we'll come over to the other side, top corner, top two bands, they're coming from below, so they're going to come, or from the left, so they're going to come over to the right, and the other two will come down. And we'll go to the next one, top two are coming from below, so they're going to go above, other two will go below. 
other two, our next one down, top two are coming from below, so they'll go above, and the other two will go below. I'm going to push everything down, and we'll do a row all the way around. It's all kind of long stretches, so still two bands, long stretch, long stretches across the front here. Same thing over here. I like that. So now when we flip, there are going to be, on every pin, four reducing bands to flip over, and then four from the row before. So go to the next one, there's four reducing bands, and then four from the row before. And again, once you pass these ones that are just kind of hooked around the pin, go ahead and put that towards the inside. So four and four, flip that over. Other side. Four and four, flip that over. Four and four, flip that over. and four and flip them over so once you're here push down the bands that are on you have six pins left three on each side push those all down and kind of grab the center of your ornament here just kind of tug it up it helps to eliminate some of the bulking that we get at the bottom from that reducing because now we are ready to close our ornament. So to do that, start on one of the far corners, you'll put your hook in, take those bands off the pin, and then just go around. Then once you've got it onto your hook, you grab right next to your creation on the hook part right here, don't use up here. Um, I've broken quite a few metal hooks actually, so, um, and it's just because the join is right, right in there. The metal part doesn't go all the way through, so hang on here and then just kind of pull and center your bottom before you take two bands and pull them through everything that's on your hook. Put both bends on and make a slip knot. And you'll take your hook up through from somewhere, grab your tails, pull them in through. Try not to pull other things. Then you just want to take your ornament once you've got it to here and just kind of grab everything and stretch. Stretch it all directions. Poke your eyes back in. If they pop out like mine just did. You may have little bumps down here depending on what kind of bands you use. Generally you can just use your hook and kind of pull them out. Um, it's just from the reducing. You can't really avoid it because they're rubber bands. Um, you may also, I don't know why his eyes keep poking out funny. You may also need to loosen up some of your bands up here in the top portion. Um, it's just because we had the that big increase to where we were only flipping two bands at one point. There. So let's go around, kind of loosen those up, and that'll round it out nicely. So cute. But hopefully you enjoy it and you've come up with some other creative things to add to this. Like I said, um, wrapped bands, adding some stripes to it, 
doing um, different kinds of bands using up some of those tricolor bands that you have that you're not really sure what to do with them um, those would be good options for this so those look pretty good so I need to fix but hopefully you enjoy them I know this is kind of a simpler tutorial and I've done um, things in the past probably similar um, but like I said it's been kind of a, a difficult time lately so um, I'm happy just to be able to get anything out for you guys and I really appreciate your patience um, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook you'll know more but um, I'll probably let my YouTube people know as well too all you guys um, but thank you guys very much for watching I definitely appreciate it I hope that you have a Merry Christmas or happy holidays um, to be PC of course and um, if you make some of these or do some decorating with them I'd love to see it on my Instagram which is at crafting fantastic or on my Facebook which is feeling spiffy or crafting fantastic should find it too but thank you guys so much and I will have more tutorials for you soon happy looming